Two extra deaths now. A cannabis dispensary in Chaparral, New Mexico, believes it's time to put an end to cannabis prohibition in Texas. Recreational and medical use of marijuana has been legal in New Mexico since 2021. Almost a year ago exactly, High Horse Cannabis Company in Chaparral is close to the state line. The company says a lot of its customers are from El Paso. ABC 7's Sarah Coya joins us live in the studio with more details. Sarah. Well, Eric, Stephanie, advocates from the dispensary I spoke to, uh, they, they showed up for public comment today at City Council's meeting today. They said current law in Texas isn't stopping access to cannabis and a stand must be taken to stop putting El Paso customers in jail. They stress the importance of El Paso cannabis patients and consumers. Prohibition doesn't work. Cannabis is medicine. New Mexico legalized cannabis for all adults in 2021, beginning legal sales in 2022. With El Paso in uh, such close proximity to New Mexico, um, you know, we have a lot of people that come from the state of Texas uh, and mainly El Paso uh, to purchase cannabis products with us. Advocates for New Mexico-based cannabis dispensary High Horse spoke before El Paso City Council, calling for change in current Texas law citing the Texas Compassionate Use Program. That allows Texas residents to obtain their, medic their medicine from New Mexico under qualifying conditions such as anxiety, PTSD, um, chronic pain, cancer, the list is endless. The problem with that is that patients from Texas are afraid to bring their medicine home because they are afraid of being arrested. Colt DeMorris is the Chief of Retail Operations for High Horse and Executive Director for El Paso Normal an organization that wants to destigmatize marijuana. He asked city council to pass a city ordinance that enforces site and release. In 2020, site and release was uh, started here in El Paso, and it gave the officers the ability to uh, issue citation to uh, anybody caught with under two ounces of cannabis. Morris says since then it hasn't been enforced. Morris says the goal of Tuesday's public comment was to get the cannabis conversation started now that new members hold council seats. In our findings over the years, uh, misdemeanor amounts of cannabis were the biggest uh, uh, offenses being arrested for and prosecuted here locally. And uh, so we wanted to uh, intervene and find a way to keep people such as patients out of jail for cannabis. And high horse advocates told me they plan to return to keep the conversation going as no decisions were made today by council. And I did reach out to the DA's office now that it's under new leadership to see what the approach will be in handling cannabis related charges. We do not hear back in time for this newscast. Sarah Coria, ABC 7.